My colleague Johan is in Sweden now with After Effects CC and Cinema 4D expert Anders Prince to give his top Creative Cloud video and 3D features. Thanks, Eona. Today I'm joined by Anders Prinz, who's the graphic designer working at uh, Swedish Television, uh, at their in-house production team. And um, it's really cool to, to, to be here with you today, actually, to talk about some of these uh, cool projects and the workflows you guys uh, have been uh, working with. Now, let's uh, deep dive in uh, the, uh, one of the projects you've actually been working on lately yeah. and uh, see what you've been working with. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not, yeah. <clears throat> okay, uh, just uh, talk me through what... Um... Yeah, we are uh, two guys working on this project. Uh, my uh, dear friend, uh, Sirnir, uh, who's from Iceland, and he just uh, started working with us, and he has a Cinema 4D background. Mm -hmm. And we start with uh, doing a previous uh, animatic that looks like uh, this. And it's mostly drawings. You just put it in so you can understand how, uh, how it's going to look when, when it's finished. And this is what he showed to the customer. Mm -hmm. And uh, they really loved it. Loved the uh, music and, and uh, everything about it. He also made a very quickly uh, pre in uh, cinema mm -hmm. uh, that he rendered and sent to them just to, to make them feel for, for the 3D and so on. Mm -hmm. And uh, after this, I took over and he went on another project. So I started with uh, some uh, uh, just trying to do the different things, and it was my first time in cinema. So I tried to do wow. chocolate, I tried to do the uh, cherries. I think I downloaded them and then started manipulating uh, them. Mm -hmm. And also tried to, to output the null objects from, from cinema to After Effects to replace with different muffins. Mm -hmm. uh, so this was the first experiments. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, I tried to do my first muffins. <laughs> Not very good if I look at them now, but... Uh, uh, then I got some photos from the production. So my friend Sirnir, he was working with uh, uh, the production design. Yeah. So he made um, this. Uh, so that, that's all basically done in just a fake a kind of a tool, just how it's going to be looking like? Or, yeah, or more or less. No, the, this is uh, This actually is actually built. the real the Yeah, this one. is the real okay. one. <laughs> okay. Um, it looked almost like it was uh, it was fake. Really. Yeah, and that's <laughs> that's very thankful, <laughs> actually, because that's make it easier to, to create in 3D. Yeah. So here was the production. I think he went around with uh, his uh, telephone, mm -hmm. just taking photos. And here you go, Anders. Yes, yes. Take some inspiration from this. Okay. Oh. So that's how it's going going to look like. And uh, that helped me decide the color. So mm -hmm. it started to look very differently. Mm -hmm. um, and I tried to do uh, chocolate, mm -hmm. just trying to simulate that chocolate. Looks, that looks delicious. It looks, <laughs> it look, it looks very organic. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> and great. And uh, creating some strawberries, uh, creating some new muffins, uh, creating a cake mm -hmm. uh, bottom. And here's some uh, downloaded cherries again. That <laughs> they look so real. Yeah, they it's... do. And I think they are from, from some uh, grayscale gorilla or something. Okay. I just, yeah, mm -hmm. I thought they were cool. And uh, then I tried to do motion out of this. I had the animatic in background. Uh, this was the first version that I sent to the customer. Mm -hmm. I just asked them, is this enough? Yeah, we love it a lot. And, and uh, my production leader told me, no, it's a little too much 50s in, in the colors. Mm. Uh, it looks very quiche. It yeah, looks, yeah, and I was right. aiming for quiche. But <laughs> when you sit and work with it uh, 24 hours a day, mm. you, you, you 
attempt to to go into overdrive. So <laughs> <clears throat> and that one too. Look at that. It's yeah, that was the first simulation uh, mm -hmm. of the shock led, yeah. and it. Uh, I just realized that it was going to work, mm -hmm. and I told my production leaders that uh, this is going to be one extra day if you want shock led. He <laughs> said, just just do the shock led. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, uh, here's the almost finished version. This was the second uh, video that I sent to them, and you mm -hmm. see it's an uh, MPEG-4. Mm -hmm. I just put it through media encoder so I could, they could see it on the telephone, in the mail and so on. Yeah. Um, and they really, really loved it, apart from one thing, <laughs> and it was the uh, liquids. Ah. They wanted uh, some, some other color. So uh, uh, in After Effects, I, I just changed the hue value mm -hmm. for this, and uh, it was very, very quickly. All, yeah. all, all the things I uh, did after uh, what you saw mm -hmm. is made in After Effects. So just changing hue cool. and so on. So uh, the, t t talk about the uh, workflow between Cinema 4D and After Effects. Is it, uh, how has that helped you working on a project like this? I mean, it looks like, as you were saying, you know, changing a color would look very easy, as yeah, if it was a it was. simple task. Absolutely. Yeah. I was not, I, uh, if I, knew that uh, Cinema and uh, After Effects wasn't together with, with um, uh, Cineware, mm. I wouldn't have done this project. In, in, oh yeah, uh, Cineware is, is uh, we should say as well, Cineware is uh, one of your favorite, favorite tools. Absolutely, uh, yeah. yeah. And I really like, I know the old ways to, to uh, put obje object buffers on mm -hmm. things, yeah. but working with layers in, in Cinema is so much better because yeah. you can put the cake, for example, on one layer in front mm -hmm. and uh, another layer for, for some background stuff yeah. and so on. And then you can layer them in, in After Effects mm -hmm. as well. And it supports uh, transparency. You don't have that awesome. in the object buffer. So cool. it was really, really uh, easy to change things. Yeah, that's a good tip so. if you're going <laughs> to try this out at home yourself. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, Carry on. Sorry, I was okay. uh, interrupting you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really into this now. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. So this is the final version, um, and I was really tired of, uh, of uh, cakes and stuff. I had a lot of cakes at home for reference, so I gained seven uh, kilos. <laughs> seriously? This. Yeah, seriously. And I asked my, oh, my uh, wife to, to start uh, creating, uh, uh, what do you call it, cupcakes? Yeah, yeah cupcakes. Yeah, because I was so... Yeah, my kid loves, uh, she's just two and a half years old, she loves wow. cupcakes. And she watched actually, we're seeing the, uh, the promo here, uh, uh, she watched this TV program together with me and she was like, well, she's too young to be able to, to join that, that competition, but yeah. it was so cool to see it. And I said, oh, I know that guy who did this project. <laughs> so cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Carry on. Okay. Uh, after um, the, the main title graphics was done, uh, you can easily create everything else uh, from, from, from that. Mm -hmm. uh, every uh, sign you see here is done in Photoshop. So they load it in, in uh, the edit room mm -hmm. and can just edit new names and so on. Yeah. And just make pictures from it. So, so every uh, name sign here is done in, in Photoshop. Cool. This was the final one. Do you, use, a, do you use any yeah. kind of uh, other tools to, to make that, you know, automatic or is just done, um, you know, a static, yeah. static Photoshop? Uh, uh, for this project, yeah. for other projects, uh, I've been using the, the possibility to, to use uh, text in, in Premiere, for yeah. example. Yeah. But for this project, mm -hmm. uh, the editor was very well uh, known he he know he knows Photoshop okay. a lot, yeah. so he knows. He has, yeah, put on some some uh, different layer styles and so on that mm -hmm. you like, so I can tweak them afterwards. Okay. Because he wants to tweak them to the uh, picture before yeah. and the picture after and so on. So awesome. he was a Photoshop guy. Yeah. So it was just giving them. This this is the uh, scoreboard. Okay. Yeah, for the same kind program. Of, yeah. Yeah. Cool. And uh, I reused a lot of things from the main title. Uh, uh, in this one, and here's a. Uh, th this didn't make it to the final. Okay. This was uh, supposed to be the uh, point system uh, from start. I see. Uh, then they built a point system in the studio. Uh, the point system in the studio was balls in in a big pipe. Okay. And uh, the balls was. Uh, it didn't work out. Okay. <laughs> they have to throw it out. <laughs> so uh, that's why you you see this one. Okay. That's the yeah. 
Uh, also some uh, uh, name signs for the kids. Mm -hmm. And this is how we present. I know this is bad uh, typewriting. <laughs> uh, it doesn't work out really, but if you give an alternative, mm -hmm. maybe you can sneak in a better logo. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So, you, so you, you went back to what you uh, g gave as a tip to always give the client uh, two versions yeah, of yeah. something. Uh, awesome. And they were about uh, three or four people who looked at everything I, I sent to them. So yeah. it was about three, four emails back to me. Mm. Um, so it was very nice to see that, that they maybe lend over all four of them to, to another yeah. picture. Yeah. There you see the movement. And there's also a pro tip in the program where a chef comes forward and uh, speaks about how he's making different cakes for the kids. And, mm -hmm. yeah. um, and here's a presentation of what they're going to do today. So mm -hmm. they are uh, creating different cakes uh, um, and, and this the presentation for. Do you, do you, do so? you get... Um in terms of the presentation, do you get uh, the material beforehand so you know, okay, they're going to be doing uh, cupcakes, going to be doing, you uh, know, or, you know, before you present no. what they're going to be talking about? Or, uh, or is that up to you guys to just... Uh, yeah, it's up to up our guys because uh, she's recording the speaker in okay, the room yeah, and she yeah. sent me wave files. And, okay, cupcake, I have to Google it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I started eating so much because I started reading about it. And, oh, that sounds good. Wow, I have to buy... And I, uh, yeah, <laughs> went to the bakery and ordered stuff and... Cool. Yeah. Well, it's part of the job. You need yeah. to do research. It is. <laughs> it's really true. I, I, I developed a stomach during this project. Cool. Yeah. Well, uh, was that uh, the end then? Or is that the last, the last part of uh, the end? Yeah, I have uh, some kind of uh, different wipes and they were I am. very quickly made. Uh, they only had about three or four hours mm -hmm. uh, to make all the wipes. Yeah. So it was just extracting things from, from uh, the main title, mm. for example, the particles mm. uh, that's made in After Effects, mm. chocolate and so on, just on a different angle. Mm -hmm. And uh, the balls, I didn't have the time to, to animate them in uh, Cinema 4D mm. because I pressed render and I saw, okay, no. <laughs> it's gonna take two. <laughs> yeah, so, so I just took one, one of the uh, balls mm. and uh, uh, I think I used Newton mm -hmm. to just let them go down and then I, open the two solids and they fall away. F fell down like that. Yeah. Cool. So, and they accepted every white pair. So, they're <laughs> in the program. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. It was really fun. So, all in all, to, to summarize, how long this, did this project uh, take for you with the workflow that you just went through? How uh, long did it take? From, about, end, from end to end? Uh, about two weeks. From two end weeks. to end. With uh, main title and, and uh, every everything you see. That's amazing. So. That's, uh, that's incredible. And uh, that's all we had for today. And I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.